see if I can If you are about, um, drop us a message into the chat. I can see the chat. Um, welcome to my Saturday night live. Um, I'll explain in a second why I wasn't live last night. But I will give it a couple of seconds for everybody to come in. One, two, three, four. Hi Connie, happy to find me, I'm glad you found me, welcome to my live, hope you've had a lovely day, I would be doing the live in the garden except I sunburnt myself, not good, <laughs> hope you're having a lovely day. I'm just measuring, um, I'm going to be making some flowers tonight, but um, these are some of the flowers I've come up with in a different way to do. Some um, I've found through the media of Pinterest and some I've found on the media of YouTube. So I'm not going to claim I've, I've come up with these because I haven't. Um, be nice if I had because they're amazing flowers to make so I'm just snipping everything out yes it's a lovely day so far I'm all looking for different ways to make flowers brilliant I'm anxious to see your way of making flowers good I'm glad I'm glad you are because I was like, hmm, shall I make flowers tonight? Shall I, shall I, shall I? Because sometimes the simplest things that you see on YouTube or you see on Pinterest can be the funnest things to craft with. And I was going to do a project and I thought, nah, let's go back to making flowers. I love making flowers. Um, and I'll give you the measurements for everything as I go along. I'll just give it a few more minutes for everybody to join me they all I hope they all know I'm live so and we're not in the garden because I couldn't get the internet signal to go in the garden right right uh, one two three four five Remove all this because we will need the candle in a second, but not just right the second. Hi, Laurel. I'm just giving it a couple of more minutes for everybody to join me because, see, this is one one of the flowers that I made today. That was just um, using material and scrunching it up. But I'm going to show how I made that because, there's, there's, as you can see, there's two. Well, I hope you can see there's two different materials in that. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made that one, and I'm also going to show you how to make a square flower like that one, and I'm going to show you how to make a ribbon, um, roses and some rose buds or some flower buds. Those are my ideas, and if I get time, um possibly do another flower as well but we'll see how we go just getting my cotton out oh please don't say I've lost it oops 
handles their clip. Right. Well, Val, could you do me a favour and uh, let everybody know on Facebook for me? I forgot to put it on my group. I'm a dumb nut. But um, I usually get everybody watching on a Friday. And I didn't do Friday because I was... Oh, Friday night, there we are. You can see a bit better now what I'm doing. So I'm just going to thread this cotton through and then I'm going to see where I am. So how is everybody? I am subscribed to your channel and got a notice you were on. Oh, brilliant, Connie. I'm glad to hear that because I, I was thinking at one point that people don't get, uh, ladies don't and gents don't get notices that I'm on. And I was like, oh, do, do they or don't they not? So... I'm glad that, that you've said that because that means um, that they are getting notifications. Going to share this now in my group. Thank you, Laurel. Would you share it on mine too if you could? If please, 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 pretty please. With a cake on cherry on top. <laughs> so, like I say, I'm going to show how to do the ribbon rows. I'm going to show how to do some square, um, square, what well, like, Call them square flowers and some scrunchy flowers. Um, I think I may start off just I'm gonna think. I don't want to leave these down until a little bit later on. I think I may start off with a scrunchy flower. One of these. That's my idea. So I haven't put the um, ribbons or anything for this one. So let me move all this out the way because it's in the wrong place at the minute. And I will give you the measurements of everything I'm using tonight as I go along, hopefully. <laughs> no, I will. Right. I'm going to show you how I made this one earlier on today. Thank you, Laurel. Um, it's done using some sort of, I like to call it some tool, netting tool. So that's what that's done out of at the top. And then underneath, um, it's done out of some cotton fabric. So what I'm going to do first off, I'm going to move this to one side. And I'm going to use this netting materials. Now it is a netting, it's a net curtain. Basically, I had it on um, sale in one of the craft shops and it was there and I picked it up and I didn't think twice about it because it was like something like 49p, which is under a pound. So I'm going to cut and give myself enough to do this flower. Probably have enough to do a couple of more as well, I expect, once they're finished. So what I've got is, now all you need to do for this is, not cut it up in circles, more, you need about eight, eight pieces, more in squares rather than circles. I won't throw them away because they'll come in an idea for my scrap flowers. So I'm going to fold this over. Now I've got one square. I'll give you the measurement slightly, but it's just a rough guess. So there's there. Everybody's probably enjoying the sun. I've been, I was going to do the live tonight in the garden. Um, but <laughs> let me show you something. Can you see my arm? It's bright red. Both of my arms are bright red. So it's not hurting and it probably won't hurt tomorrow. I'll probably go brown. But um, yeah, <laughs> I thought, oh, I've told everybody I'm going to go in the sun. 
and then I can't go in the sun because I'm not good anymore. Hi Angie! If I burn any more, I'm going to be like a crisp. Right, so let's see how many we got. We got one, two, three, four, five. We need another three. This is for the top. So if you notice, I haven't got, there is no middle for this one. Um, you can put a middle in if you wanted to. You could just sort of separate them and put a middle in, I suppose. But for this one, I decided I wasn't going to. So... I need to cut out another three of those squares. Um, and if you hear the snoring, it is my dog. <laughs> snoring and snoring and snoring. Right. That's him. One, two, three. Right, so there's eight pieces. Again, I'm not going to throw them away. They'll come in handy for my scrap flowers. So there should be eight pieces now of you. One, two, three, four. That's a little one. Four, five, six. Oh, gosh, seven. No, I want to have a little one because it will give me a little pet on the side if I do. Right, I'm going to tell you the approximate measurements now. They're not cut perfect, they're not cut straight. They're far from straight, as you can clearly see. Um, two reasons for that. A, I can never cut straight. And B, um, I'd be here all day trying to cut eight pieces perfectly straight. Now, I've cut those a little bit larger. These are a little bit smaller, so you need, for like the middle section... Um, no, wrong flower. You need them all the same. So, strap that instruction. <laughs> you need them all the same. So, I'm going to cut these down to that square there. Okay. Line it up. There and there. There, there, and I'm going to cut on the end. Right, again, I'm not going to throw all this because it'll come in handy for my scrap flowers. Hi, Angie, I'm happy to meet new people. Oh, bless. I'm happy to have met you, Connie. Right, so... Eight pieces, they approximately measure. I think everybody's enjoying the sun tonight. I can see six ladies watching. So if you are watching, please comment in the comment section. Um, I can see the comments. I will be able to read out the comments. Um, I've also got Angie and Laurel on there too. And Connie's on the chat too. Hi, Mum. So Donna Samuel, uh, for those that you don't know, is my mum. Um, she's going to kill me for saying mum. It's my mum. <laughs> and she's in the chat with us. So I am mum. <laughs> oh, there we are. So um, these measure just over two inches by two. Two or just over two inches by two. Okay. So they're not that big at all. But that's what's going to give me the scrunchy... A shabby effect in the middle so I'm gonna pinch in the center and then gather it up like that so I'll go through it again pinch in the center right bring these two thumb and finger up till you get sort of that sort of petal shape rather and once you've got that shape hold it with your fingers and you're going to put your first stitch through. 
Now, I am sewing most of these tonight. But you shouldn't take too many stitches to go through. So that takes three, and that's a real good, nice scrunch at the side. Don't worry too much about the sides, as long as you've got that bottom bit, because that bottom bit will give you this bit. It'll give you the shaggy edge, if you know what I'm trying to say. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> I am mum. She'll kill me for saying mum. <laughs> right, pinch in the middle, gather up, and hold it there. I'm going to take this one and put it right next door. So you now get two. And then sew these together. Three stitches, if that, that's what they'll take. I'm going to take my needle. Take my needle back through to the side I'm working on. And then again, a scrunch hip. Yeah. That is my dog Teddy, by the way. <laughs> he is very loud and snoring. He's quite good at snoring, but <laughs> that is my dog. And he's finding it. I tell you what, this hot weather we're having in the UK at the moment. Um, Teddy's finding it really hard to struggle. So I'll forgive him this one life for snoring so loud. If he gets any louder, I go, Teddy, and then he goes really quiet. He knows I'm talking about him. That's why you can't hear him. So three stitches back through the side you're working on, which is this side. And then you'll get something that looks like that. So eight squares will give you a real nice um, sort of edge, flowered edge. To the side. One. Three there. Pinch and centre, bring up. Now, we're about halfway, I should imagine. Yeah, we are. I've got three left on the table and one in my hand. So at this point, um, to make sure that it is going around, we are now going to push two of these to one side. And we're going to just sew through three of them. Just for the first two stitches. And do the last stitch through all of them. Just helps it while it goes round. So one stitch through there. It gets a bit tricky, but you get the hang of it. Two through there. Now when I've done them two, I'm going to go back through the whole thing. One, two. These look fab. I love when your dog snows. It makes me giggle. Drives me nuts. <laughs> Bring up the centre. Bless him. Right. Um, where am I going? There I am. And again, with this one on the edge, find two, which is there. So two stitches through this one. I was sitting playing making flowers and I sort of I'd make these every now and then um, and it's not till like I say the, the easiest things you can see on YouTube and Pinterest can be the funnest things to craft with and then the last stitch goes right through and it decides to work right through that end 
and through that end. And I'm going to do the last one for some reason. There. And we're on the last two. So it's the same, same sort of concept. Gather it up in your hand. Find two. So there's one there. And there's the two. See? There's two there. I'm going to put my needle through here. Should have used different cotton so you guys could have seen it a bit better. I'm going to put two. So always gather two in your hand, put two stitches through, and then the third stitch goes right through them all. One. Sack. Two, and then push them through them, all of them. Threads come off. They. And I'm using quite long needles. I find it easier. Um, I don't know why. I just do. And then again with this one. Now with the last one, it's a little bit difficult. Um, but like I say, when you get the hang of doing it, um, you'll be well away. Promise you. So I'm going to start off. Where I am, where I am, I'm put my needle back through it a sec. I am put my needle back through it and put it right through the other end. Right. So, pinch, gather, like a sort of a napkin or a tissue, push it through the middle. And now, because this is the last one, gather two which are one, come on, there's two, Push that back through. Needles come, threads come off the needle again. Right. Pull all this into place. Right. Now we should. All eight petals are on there. Now, you bring your first one, which is this one. This one. See, it gets so shabby that you can't even find the first one. The first one's there. So you bring your first one over. Make sure you don't um, tie the ribbon round like I'm just doing. And you push it through the first one. And you just the first petal that you put in. Bring the needle through. So you've only brought, brought one apart. Bring the needle through. So you just bring in one at the moment. Push the needle back through. Go back through the last petal. And sides to go through. And I'm going to pull this See it's got no beginning, no end And then I am going, since we're bigger I'm going to push the, the last one I'm 
just going to go up a few stitches so instead of going at the bottom I'm going to go up two three stitches not match so take it through the last one because that's where we, were, where we are at the moment on the side and I'm going to read the comments in a sec and I'm going to go up through the first one on the side and back through the first one and then the last one on the side two three stitches should should give you a nice coverage on the side so you when somebody receives this flower or you're making it for somebody you're not gonna they're not gonna know where you where your stitch began and where it ended because it gives you that real nice fluffy shape my husband snoring drives me nuts crazy says yeah see <laughs> my husband and my dogs usually have a competition in the middle of the night <laughs> Uh, Gracie said they look fab and I love when your dog snows makes me giggle Beautiful Connie says thank you Connie says it's shaping up nicely Thank you Connie Laurel says I like the way you're doing this Thank you Laurel Hiya Jane You're not late my darling Gracie says I will have to watch from McGill later as I was late joining Oh bless Well thank you for being here Gracie Don't you worry about being late I'm going to tie it on the back, so I'm just going to bring my needle through on the back. Choose your, where you want your back. Now, I want my back this edge because I personally can see a few stitches that you would have done. But you could go on the top, you could go on the side, you could go anywhere you want. Because you're doing it side by side rather than on top, nobody's going to know where you started the stitches. Um and this was me playing about. I don't believe I've seen these done before. Um, I've had some inspiration on doing my own flowers. So it could be sort of there. I don't know. Um, definitely had inspiration of, you you know, making my own flowers. These haven't all come from my own head. But these little flowers I haven't seen anybody make and I've made quite a few now when I've done them for swaps or I've done them for, you know, to put on, um, to put with racks or... So I've done them and everybody's gone, hmm, they're nice flowers. They're nice flowers. We, you know, and they're looking and they're looking and they're looking. And then they think that I've gone sort of layered them all on top of each other rather than side by side so that's what makes them a little bit different and like i say i haven't seen them being made by anybody else i've had inspiration to make them but um yeah i like how they turn out myself i'm just trying to knot this Nicole. Right. So you can either stop and give it that look, right? Connie says, I haven't seen this way of making flowers, so think you're safe. I've watched a lot of videos on making flowers. Oh, bless. Always follow your inspiration. Oh, definitely, Connie. I would never say, if I like the flower that I'm going to show you later on in a second. Um, I know that's come from Pinterest, but I can't tell you, you know, the 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 person or people that it's come from. But the other flower that I'll make, it has come from Pinterest. Now I always say, if you um, make something, then you always give credit to the person that you've either had inspiration from, or um, you, you know where you've seen it, because then people can see where your inspiration and your ideas can follow from does that make sense very pretty thank you jane right so you can either stop there but with this one i did i've added some material behind it now i'm going to show you how i've added the material i should have got it ready but i never did 
Maybe me. Should we do yellow? Hmm. Not for this one though. Let's do blue. Yeah, let's do blue because I quite like this type of material. Right, I've left the thread in there. Now there's enough thread in there, I would say, to keep me going to do the um, underneath. So how did I do the underneath? So first of all, I'm going to move my needle because I know I'm going to lose it. I'm going to use blue. Now this is sort of like a cottony type material. It's really nice. It frays nice, which is why I like using it. Um, and all you do for this one, because we use squares on that one. Well, yes, yeah, squares. I was trying to think then. Did I use squares? Did I not? Oh, we did. We use squares. So I'm going to move this to one side and that. And what we need to do for this one is we do need to cut some circles out. So um, circle wise, six wouldn't be that many circles. So you've got eight layers of your lace, whatever you decide to use. And then if you want to put your back in, your material on the back, you can. Now I did six earlier. I got a nice coverage. So to make squares, now I found an easier way of cutting circles without having to get something that was in the shape of a circle. Um, I'll show you now. That'll be okay. I'm going to move this and that. How many have I got? One, two, three, four. Five, six, that'd be plenty. Okay, I'm going to move this. Perfect sense, absolutely. It would be nice with a doily behind it. It definitely would, Jane. See how your inspiration, how, how your, I like the way your mind is going about what you what could you use behind it to bulk it up if you were going to do it so um if you've got any ideas and inspiration as i make these flowers please comment and let me know where your mind's thinking or where you're crafting i'd love to know um because i think that's you know we'll learn from each other definitely so i'm going to cut some circles so what i do to round this off just round the edges off so the letter c Basically, we use it as. Okay. Um, let us see again. And one more. And one more. So you always go a letter C. That'll give you sort of a circle-ish. It's not the perfect circle, but it'll, it'll be a nice circle to do. So, here's my needle and my thread. Okay. So with this one, again, pinch the in middle. So in the middle, bring it up with your fingers because it's the same sort of method. Now, because we went side by side with the lace underneath, all I'm going to do with this one is I'm sewing onto the actual lace just above where the middle is. So you could stop where I stopped and, you know, or you could carry on and do the following. So three nice stitches give you a nice it'll give you that sort of a shape so I'll show you again pinch and bring up 
I need to put my needle through you. That would help me a lot. <laughs> okay. Pinch and bring up. Turn this over. I'm going to go next over this. Might only take five, I don't know, we'll see. So go through the net, through the fabric. Again, nice three stitches will be perfect. One there. One there. And then I'm going to join the last stitch. I'm going to join this fabric, which is this one back through that one and then back through the side so my next um petal will join on start again Pinch in the centre, bring it up. What breed is your wee dog, Clap? My wee dog, um, he is oh, he's supposed to be a King Charles Spaniel. Supposed to be, I say supposed to be. Um, when he was a pup, I paid, both me and my husband paid a lot of money because we thought he was purebred um one breed of dog basically and when we had him um we saw his parents and they were king charles spaniel and you know we we didn't think anything to question of it because we saw his mum dad and they were in perfect good health and um you know it, it that was we didn't think anything to question of his breed then, let's put it that way. So, when I uh, got him, I asked the previous owner for his papers. Because when you get, you may know this, I don't know. But when you get a dog that's purebred, you usually have papers to go with him to say, this is the dog, he is own -so 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 breed, um, his dad was this breed, and um he's poor bread and she said oh we haven't got the papers for him because originally she was going to post them to me and then it was the late and then it was we haven't got them so i said why haven't you got his papers you know i thought you said you were going to post them uh we haven't got his papers because he hasn't got any papers what you mean <laughs> He hasn't got no papers. Um, he hasn't got any papers. So I was like, well, I don't understand this because we've paid extra for that type of breed. It turns out, years down the line when we took, you know, with any animal, you take them back and forth the vets and it comes vet bills and all sorts. Years down the line, the vet actually said to me, um, I've given, Teddy wasn't well, he needed antibiotics, that was it. I've given Teddy antibiotics, but because of his breed, I can't give him um, antibiotics for King Charles Spaniel because he's crossbred. And I looked at him all sort of puzzled and I said, well, he's not crossbred. He's, you know, he's purebred, one breed of dog. I said, um, he's King Charles Spaniel. And he said, I, I, I'm here to be the bad, bad news, but he's not. I said, what? He's not, he said. I said, well, what breed is he? He said, oh, well, I wouldn't like to guess that. It took five, not six. Um, I wouldn't like to guess that, he said. But he said, if it was me, I would say he is um, a pug pug crossed king charles well i said i don't i he said he's not pure king charles so 
I said, well, how how am I going to find that out for certain? I said, because I've lost touch with the people that I bought Teddy off. How, he said, the only way to find that out is for Teddy to have a DNA, if there is such a thing. DNA. And I said, a DNA for the dog? He said, yeah, yeah, people do have them. But he said, there's a lot, a lot of money. And he said, are you desperate to know? Is there a reason why you want to know? Because he said, some people have them because they want to enter their dogs in shows. Some people want to have them because they desperately want to find out what type of dog they've got. And I said, well, we don't desperately need to have them. So we never know. We don't know. So... I always say he's a King Charles Spaniel, but he, I know he's not a full breed. He's more he's more of a pug cross top King Charles. Teddy's quite small statue for his type of breed of a dog, King Charles. And he's also got which is why he snores so loud, he's also got breathing problems. Um if he gets excited, he he literally chokes himself after death, or if he eats his food too fast. So, yeah, there's a bit of a story. So what I've done while I was chit-chatting, as you saw, I gathered this, taken five petals, not six. And then I'm going to do three stitches as I did with the netting just up above to hold these in place. So, yeah, a bit of a story. And then I'm going to tie them off. I'm going to crack on with the other flower I've got planned to do. So, and I, and I don't want to go and, you know, do a DNA because they are really expensive. I didn't realise you could have a DNA on a dog, but you can. And Hubby's always said that he's not King Charles, and I said, oh, should that be his? No, he's not clad. But he's usually never too far away from me, which is probably what you can get, I should imagine. Now I'm going to snip just that, and then that gives me a real nice shabby flower. That else, you know, you can add more if you want to. Yeah, I love the name Teddy. See, we um when we picked him up, who was already named, and she said, oh, you can change his name if you want to, but no, we... We wouldn't change him or his name because he does look like he did look like a teddy bear when he was younger, when he was a pup. Yeah. Um. So you can shabby these up or little them down as much as you want. Um. Where's that one I got? I made a very very small one, and it does look as if I folded the fabric a certain way. But as you can see, all I've done really is scrunch it up in the middle. And then just sewed in. Now you could put a doily on the back. You could put felt on the back. Anything you want to do on the back of them. So there's the one. Um, right. Would you like to see the square flower first or the ribbon flower? And I've got some rosebud flowers I want to have a go at and show you as well. Oh, it's awesome. Love it. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Laurel. Thank you, Gracie. So square flower that gives you that bit of a a touch again used a um, smaller fabric or the ribbon one which is the one i was cutting out right at the very start what one would you prefer square or the ribbon first love it oh it's awesome love it thank you connie gracie says ribbon Ribbon. I think I got some more votes for ribbon. He thinks. I'm anxious to see the ribbon. Right, okay, we'll do the ribbon then. Hi, hi, Angie. I had to remember then what your actual name was. I was going to say hi, Chronic Crafter. Then I remember to Sanji. Hi, my lovely. And Angie says ribbon. Hi Liz. That's okay, him. Right, okay, so ribbon one. Easy. A little bit easy, I suppose, in a sense. Now, I've got a candle burning for 
a right reason and I will try and give you these dimensions in inches but I can't guarantee everything right so here we go I'm gonna do a little ribbon rose so this is should be 16 inches and it's 16 and a half so what I'm gonna do is cut should give me 16 in, 16 centimeters sorry there we are they right so you should have for 16 centimeters there should be five all the same size it's a little bit too big Laurel, my beautiful friend, how are you? There's three there. So these are 16 centimeters. Like I said, I will try and give it you in inches because I usually work in inches too. Always confuses me. Um, So 16 centimeters is yeah, we'll look is six inches and two lines. So I think it's six point two. I think that's how you work it out in inches. So 16 inches, you need five. This is our five. Then you have when there's 15 inches, which is there. Then you have these ones, which should be all the same size, which are 10.5 inches. Oh, wait, no, 10.5 centimeters. I say inches and it's centimeters. I do apologize. Cut these a little bit too long. Wait a sec. I think these may be the shorter ones. No, I haven't. Haha. <laughs> okay, so 10. Five of the 10.5 inches, so five of the 10.5, five of the 16, one of the 15, and then it should be five of the 13. So an easy way to remember it, right, and we'll do it in style. So 10.5. I'm trying to think now, 10.5. Um, ten point five. Gosh, I've I've lost it. Ten point five thirteen. No, that's fifteen. This thirteen, right? Ten point five thirteen. Fifteen. And 16 so 10.5 five of them <laughs> Thir 10.5 13 five of them 10.5 13 cent these are all in centimeters so 10.5 centimeters five of them you'll need 13 centimeters five of them you'll need 16 centimeters five of them you'll need and one of the 15 centimeters that should be the other way around 15 and 16 okay so 10.5 13 15 and 16 centimeters the 10.5 you'll need five the 13 you'll need five the 16 you'll need five and then the middle one the 15 you'll only need one so how do we do it doing okay organize the laces and such such a more Sub right back. Yeah, please sub to each other. We're all here for crafting, and I would love it if you sub to each other. It would make um, it would I would love it, really would. So, um, my chat's popped out. Right. So we start off with the small ones. I'm going to move these over a little bit. And I'm just going to burnish the ends. Now I do have my camera, my flame, 
just burnishing the ends. And we're doing the 10.5 at the moment. Come on. And I learned this little one. This is one of the flowers I've only ever done once, twice. So forgive me for not trying to remember it all. Um, but I thought since we were making flowers tonight, I really enjoyed making this one last time. I just thought, hmm, let's make it again. And this doesn't come from me, this has come from Pinterest. Because I quite like Pinterest when you're looking for ideas. And inspiration. I've been subbed already. I always check in case. Oh, bless. I have subbed to all you ladies. Thank you for subbing me. Oh, fantastic. That's brilliant news that you're all subbing to each other. Like I say, we're all here for the same reason of crafting. And YouTube is such a big place sometimes that it almost gives you an impossible situation sometimes to look for everybody on there. But if you sub to each other, then it makes life a little bit easier. Right, so fold the edge over like a triangle, which I'm going to do like so. And all we do is we stick the needle in this way. I'm going to stick it back through back through and I'm going to knot it in the corner I'm just going through the loop I am come on okay I'm going to go up So all I'm doing from one point, oh sugar, my out of camera, I do apologise. I'm going from one corner to that corner. Move my camera again so you know I'm not out of sync. So I'll only end up bringing this towards me and then you won't be able, you won't see anything. So I have got to there at the moment. I've gone up that way. I made a corner in this, um, made a knot in this corner and I've just gone up with my needle. And then I'm throwing my needle around. Hey, hey. Hi, Sue. Yes, she has, Ange. She didn't watch it and she got told about it today. Yeah, didn't she just laugh? God, my chat keeps popping out. She laughed about it. Right, so I'm going to go back down this way now. The way I've came. And I'm going. She hasn't watched it. I need to send her the video. I told her about it yesterday, that blinking glove that you sent me. So I've gone from this corner to that corner. Back through. Now I'm in the corner. I'm just going to pull this a little bit and I'm going to go straight across. Oh, come on, don't thread on me. There we are. Just a loose stitch, that's all you're after. Like I say, I was like, oh, what shall I make? What shall I make? And I thought, mm hmm, tell you what. Why don't I make some flowers? Right, and then I'm going to fold this in over, like so. 
I'm going to thread it back through corner and then once I get to this corner I'll push it back through this edge I'm just going to pull it till I create that that's where the magic happens and then once I've pulled it which should give you a nice paddle I'm just going to push it back through sugar, back through that way back through that way I'm going to show you again because I need to do it too come on right there's the first one done I'm going to put a knot in this end because I'm not going to be able to put it through the loop like I did the other one. I quite enjoy making flowers. I find them so relaxing. And when I my mind goes blank, which often sometimes it does if I'm sitting in my craft room, um, I really like it because you can sort of... With flowers, you can do almost anything you want to do. Now, with this one, I'm going to put the knot there. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of times in that corner. I'm not going to worry about going up. I'm just going to go straight across. Hi, Shell Bell. Have I missed anybody? Hi, Gail. I'm making flowers too. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Thread this back through. I should have done some of these beforehand, but then again, you wouldn't have gone step by step, really, would you? I've known how to do one. Um, So straight across the edge. Come on. I love him. Um, oh, come on. Knotted, and I ain't gonna work if it's knotted. <laughs> I do apologize if that's just frightened you, frightened me. Teddy, it's enough, Rosie. Rosie, Rosie, come, <laughs> come on, Ted, Rosie. I do apologize. Teddy and Rosie guarding me with their life. They won't get fed otherwise. Fold this over like a triangle. Rosie! Rosie! You should go outside barking now. Rosie! I'm going to thread it back through and pull this as tight as you can till you get that shape. Rosie, sew these two ends together. I'm going to kill my dog. I do apologise if that's right, Joe. Sometimes their bark makes me jump. So I do apologise. I'm going to kill them. They'll have no, nothing to eat for tomorrow. <laughs> they carry on. Oh, come on. Cut. Just giving this a real good knot at the bottom of this petal. Oh, 
Like I say, they weren't going to get fed. Right. I'm on the uh, five, 10.5 centimeters petals. Like I say, I should have done this beforehand, but then again, if I had done it beforehand, you wouldn't have gone the step by step instruction on how to do it. And sometimes making flowers like this, I find somebody could tell me all day um, if they made something, but if they haven't shown how they make it, well, I could I could just be there all day struggling. Um, so I quite like show be shown how. So fold it over like a triangle. And we basically, I'm going to chat you while I do this. Of course I will. Push this through there. Right. And it's totally worth it because the flowers come out beautiful. I'm going to try and be as quick as I can so we know these. I have been crafting lately. Why have you? Has anybody else been crafting? I know that's not true, Claire. You always smother your doggies with love and treats. I'm going to kill them. No dog tomorrow. No food for them tomorrow. <laughs> this is true. I do smother them with treats. Gracie says, only seven more and I'm up to 100 subbies. I know it isn't about the numbers, but oh, Gracie, I'm so pleased for you. Really am. Are you going to be doing a giveaway? Yeah, 100 subbies. That's such an achievement. People go, I've only reached at 50. I've only reached 100. But the thing is, right, we've all had to start somewhere. And it doesn't matter. I know we don't, know, we don't go on YouTube for the numbers. We go on there because we enjoy it. But it means when you've got numbers like that, it means that, you know, you've got a nice support and a good following. So I doesn't. it doesn't matter in my eyes. Um whether you've got 50 or 100 or whether you've got a celebrating your 5,000 it's the fact that you've achieved that goal and that's amazing that's really amazing what an amazing achievement well Gracie my darling I will after I've done this live I will do a video and I will tell everybody about your channel and I will I will give the word out there, I promise you that, I will do that for you. Are you going to be doing a giveaway for your 100? I think my first giveaway was guess how many beads there were in a box. Um, that was my first ever giveaway. Can't see the video. Oh, Donna. Hi, Donna, by the way. Why can't you see the video? Can everybody else? Is is it my internet playing up? Please say it's not. The dogs are settled again. <laughs> right. And then not this. So you will have, once you've finished doing this, you'll have a nice range of petals. There's my other petal. And I'm going to do it on this one too. Now these are 10.5 centimetres. Um, I don't, I couldn't tell you what it is in inches because I don't know. This idea isn't my idea either. Um, I had the inspiration from Pinterest. Um, I often find different ways to make flowers. And this came up on a video and I thought, hmm. And I think I've made one or two once upon a time. Um. Once upon a time. No, I have made one or two for my racks and my swaps. Right, so we have, we're on these two. So fold it in half. Like 
a triangle. Yes, Donna, she's been on a while. Has this started? Yes, I did start it. Um, but no, I haven't finished it. I've been on for an hour. Um, we've made... I don't know what type of flower would you call it, ladies? Scrap flower? No, it's not a scrap flower, is it? It's a scrunchy flower, I would call it. Um, and I'm just making a flower out of ribbon. I'm gonna just th gonna thread the. Oh, I can. Oh, I can do it quicker this way. See, never have found it that if I hadn't done that by mistake. Then fold this like a triangle. Right, I'm gonna push that through. There, and I'm going to pull it. Come on. Join the two ends together. And I think, no, this is my fourth one. Don't know, a lot of people didn't get enough for... Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with my notifications tonight. Wonder why it isn't showing on my computer. I am subscribed. Um, no, nobody had a notification. Um, I know one person did, but... No, nobody seems to be on. Well, I say nobody seems to be on. Yes, you do seem to be on, but you know what I'm trying to say. The, um... YouTube are not giving out my notifications when I'm doing my lives. Don't know what it is, but they're not. Brilliant. <laughs> um, I'm going to push this up. And all I'm doing is making flowers, Donna, so... So I've done the fourth petal, and then I'm on the fifth. So you do it. And so you just have to do the same method and hopefully it won't take me too long to do. I'm just doing a little knot on the end of my cotton because I don't want my stitches to fall out. And I get, oh gosh, come on. Push that through there. Right, I'm going to move that into a, heart, a triangle. I'm going to go through the edge, knot it, to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere while I put through the stitches. And then I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to gather, I think, the, the ribbon onto my needle because my needle is quite long. And I'm going to move that over like a triangle to like a half soft circle triangle. And then I'm going to pull this. And you should have join these two together. Okay, and not this now, and then I'm going to go on to the next sort of come on. I'm going to bring the light over a little bit as well because it has gone a little bit dark. I'm going to take this off. So you should have five sort of baby petals. Right, let me bring the light over. Right. 
Maybe I'll ask better. Right, think I'm stepping that back now to everyone. Please say if I've missed any Gracie says. I just don't do it often. Love making these flowers. I've made these too. Go on, Gail, let's see. Um, thanks, Gail. I'll reach 100 by the end of the live show. Oh, definitely, Gracie. If I, if, if I, definitely, definitely, definitely. How many have you got to go? Isn't it five more? Please sub to each other. Um, like I say before, you know, it's even though... Reaching 150, I'm doing a challenge for reaching appreciation challenge. I was so desperate to reach 400 and I was waiting on and waiting on and waiting on. And the thing is, I've never ever been one for numbers. I did a challenge when I reached 100, giveaway when I reached 100, um, a giveaway. It's the same method with all of them, by the way. Um, a giveaway when I reached... Given when I reached 100, I think I did guess the box when I reached 100. I did something else, I think, for my 200. And then I was so desperate and eager to reach 300 that I thought, mm hmm, uh, 400, sorry, that I was ha ha waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I had 10 to go. And then I thought, no, I'm going to do a giveaway for the appreciation for the subbies I do have. So that's what I've done. And I'm now, I think I looked yesterday, I'm way over 400. So thank you everybody that subscribed to me. I'm going to pull this tight and I'm going to sew these ends together where I got them. There they are. So yeah, isn't it five more to go, Gracie? So I'm gonna put them there. Sorry if I'm what you're watching the same thing. I do apologize. Like I said. Should have done some of these before the live show tonight and I just thought Shall I shan't I? Shall I do it? Mo I'm almost at 500. I am too Laurel. And that's thanks to you guys. Um thank you for being a part of my challenge and my channel. I do appreciate it. And like I say, I was gonna do a challenge and I was trying so bad to get to 400 and I thought now, do you know what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to do one for this appreciation for the subbies I do have. So I do appreciate you all subbing at me. Why isn't this? Just burnished on the ends because it was coming undone. What's the thread then? Right. I'm just going to go straight. I know why you didn't do it because I didn't burnish the ends before I did it. That's what it was. I didn't burnish the ends. I'm going to turn it that way. I'm having 
trouble with this one, this petal, I don't know why. Right. I'm going to find the ends. Where's the end? Which is there. So these are 13 centimeters. I'm going to play one through one more time and then I'm going to knot this petal. Uh, I didn't burnish the ends, that's why I could knot it when I right at the beginning. finish these ends. Let me get some cotton on the go. Yep, four more to go, Grace. What types of things do you... So, what types of things do you make then, Grace? What would you say... That goes for anybody. What would you say... I've got a question for you all. Since you're all with me tonight and watching me do the same thing, so I do apologise. What is your most, and I ask this for all the new members that come into my group, and I will tell you mine once I get an answer from yours. What is the most happy accident that you found through the love of crafting? And that question, I always ask our new members when they come in. And the answers are fantastic, by the way. It's like, oh... Um, what's your happy accident that you found through the level crafting what would you say it is I'll tell you mine while I'm see if anybody replies while I'm waiting for you all to think my happy accident, I must admit, through my love of crafting, has to be using my distress inks a different way. I was using them to distress the edges, and then I found that I can use them, um, that I could use them with my water, um, and use them in like, oh, I just knotted that now. Um, I found that I can use them in water and use them on like my glass board to make um, a different sort of uh, background. If you put your inks, oh my gosh, put the wrong end in. If you put the inks through and then um, you'll, if you put your inks on your table and then add water to it and then add your paper you'll you'll get if you use two different inks you'll get two different colors and it almost looks like a water effect that's the effect that it leaves you with so i would say that is my most loved happy accident through my love of crafting or shells bye gail right ladies i'm going to bed it's calling love your flowers claire even though it is late good evening lady oh bless thank you for stopping by gail i must admit i didn't think this flower was going to take this long i do apologize guys watching the same process can't for some reason my fingers won't not do come on I'm gonna give up in a minute <laughs> oh no come on Right, 
that there, there. Here's my other petal. Right. I'm going to start putting these together as well. Oh, Debbie, I'm sorry. Me, your family, have peace and calm. Have I missed something? Oh, Debbie, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, bless you. I, I'm so sorry and sad to you that that, that news for you. Um, I do hope that you get some peace soon. You'll be definitely in my prayers. I'm going to shake this one. I didn't think this flower would take so long. I didn't remember it taking this long last time. I keep losing my thread, which is driving me nuts. <laughs> Come on. I, you, you, you'll be definitely in my prayers. I am so sorry to you that, Debbie. Oh, bless. Well, I hope um, the crafting community brings you some comfort at this sad time. Right, I'm going to fold that now and I think what I might do is finish these five and do, I might not do the, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. So I might do a smaller version for this flower because my fingers are not working tonight and it's driving me nuts the fact it's taking so long to do. So I'm going to do these five and then I'm going to do another one on the other layer unless you ladies want me to do all of them I will do all of them it's just I don't want don't want you to sort of get bored because you're watching the same method oh gosh come on friends tie it because what my idea was if I do five of the this size just checking I've not did that I think I have right do five of these oh gosh no I haven't five of this side and then one of the uh, the other side I don't do all of them. Is one of you guys watching the same one? Same method. So I'm going to do a smaller one because I do want to show you those little tiny rosebuds I've got. So I'm going to tie this and then I'm going to, if I can, my fingers won't work. Come on, fingers work, 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 work. So, what my idea is, because I've got, I'm going to do one of them, but I have six left, right? So I've got one, five of the same size here, and then one of the bigger ones. So instead of me being at 
this same flower all night long. I'm going to do one of these and then I'm going to do one of them. But if you wanted to make it a bigger flower, do them all. Um, so I've got two more to do and then I can put all this together because I want you to show you those um, um, rosebud ones. And I didn't think that this flower would take so long. So I'm going to just do these two because it needs two. Um, uh, can I, will you email me your address? I have your entry for your challenge. Oh, right. Okay. Um, Ange, do you know my email address? Oh, Laurel. Fold this over. Tie this off and then I'm going to do that last one and then I'm going to put the flower together. I'm going to cut these off. So you should have another petal there. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to put the whole flower together then. Music to your ears, I bet. <laughs> Thank you, Ange. i almost done with your challenge. I hope it gets to it. Yeah, that's perfect, Ange. That's it. Thank you. I couldn't do one type. Um, and the only reason I'm not doing the whole of them is five left to do. Because I think I'll be here all night doing the same flower. And I want to show you my little rosebuds um, that I have done for an entry. For an I have done for a challenge. And I have done as part of our swaps as well before in the past. Um, perhaps this is why... So I'm doing, that was 13, so this will obviously be a little bit smaller flower, but I'm not, I'm not bothered by that. That was 13 and I'm doing one of the 16. So pull this all the way. Turn it this way. Tie it off. And then I'm going to put the whole flower together. I do apologise this taking this long. I didn't mean for it to take this long. Um, Right, and I'm gonna. Do I need to? Yeah, I do. Just a few stitches. <coughs> Sorry, I do apologise. They've just shoot my cat fighting at the back. They're gonna go and scare the cats off now that we're bullying ours. They just shoot our cats. Our, there's a I've got three cats as well 
um, as, as well as dogs. They all get on. They never fight. But um, they... God, I'm having really trouble tonight tying this off. I don't know why. I'm just going to cut it there. Um, I don't know why. They, the, the little... The cat next door always makes an argument without us. So... Get some thread on your needle and I'm going to do this now, finish this off and get on started on the other one. If nothing else, I want to show you my little rosebud, my beaded rosebud. And I can't do that if I'm on this, on this flower. Right, once you've done them all, now I'm missing... One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing five petals. So my flower's going to be a little bit short. I guess my dogs are at the back arguing. Um, but I'm not bothered by that. And all you do is get your knot started. So it's there. And I'm going to just pinch that ever so slightly. I quite like mine to be a rose. And then I'm going to grab another one of these, uh, they are 10.5, and you overlap it like so. This is the way I do mine. Put it back through and then pull it. And I'm going to go sideways on now. So I've got that sort of thing. Take your other petal. And you sort of cut them together. So there's the third one. So I get something that looks like that. Bye, Connie. Thank you for stopping by. And then the last one. I'm going to go through the fourth one rather. I'm going to go through there. I'm going to kill my dogs barking. Keep going through. Now it'll take a couple of stitches. Thread my command down. <laughs> But it is worth it because you get a real nice flower at the end. Right, and you should get something that looks something like like that with all the petals on. I'm going to put this fifth petal overlap it here. So every time I do it, I go through two petals. Does that mean make sense? So there's my two. So I'm going to put the third one in between. Hold this tight. Right, and then I'm going to get one of these. And you build your flower up by putting the petals on. I'm thinking like 6 p.m. Sorry, I was talking to my daughter. Laura, what time are you going live, hun? Pray through like so. And you just keep adding and adding and adding your petals till all of them are done. Now, I haven't, I should have sort of done a blue Peter moment. I'm going, oh, this is the one I did earlier. <laughs> but I didn't. And then you add another one. And you'll see it starting to build now. Um, and because you're sewing these on, I don't know whether you could use hot glue actually to place these on. You probably could, I suppose. You wouldn't have the trouble of your thread coming in done from your needle every two seconds. And then I'm going to just pull these as tight as I can. Till I get something that looks a bit like that. 
just going to push my needle up and under to get rid of the stitches in the centre. That's what it will begin to look like. And I'm going to move the other one now, push the other one through the middle. And I'm going to cup it there. And still cupping it there. So even though it takes a while to get this flower started, once you sew it together, it'll look, it's totally worth it. You can sort of see it coming together. This is how I do mine. I don't know whether, um, because the inspiration came from Pinterest and I tend to sort of, if I w really want to do it, I tend to look at it and go, well, what can I do different? So they had a more of a rose shape going on. Back in now, all quiet for a minute or two. I'm going to go through there. And this last one, because of course I didn't do them all, it's going to go just like so. I'm going to put my thread back on my needle and then I'm going to get my to do my little rosebud I'm going to show you this flower now I'm going to turn it upside down to make sure all these stay in place come on driving me nuts these flowers is tonight especially this one back through there back up there and then I'm going to knot it by knotting it I'm going to go through there and hopefully take it back through that loop this at the back and then I can show you the flower and then I'm going to do my rosebud which won't take as long as this as long as this and if you do them all you'll like with a bigger flower obviously but I didn't do them all I sort of skipped them all that is what you'll end up with but if you do it the way I've just showed you Okay, I'm going to snip that off. Now you can put anything on the back of that, absolutely anything, and it gives you a real nice depth to it. So now I've done that, and it took me almost half an hour to do. It didn't give up. It did take me that long. Um, I'm going to show you how I do my rosebud. Now the rosebud is quite something quite different. Um, I need just have a look. What type of fabric I can use? I'm going to use some satin fabric for my rosebud. You need some wire, which I'm going to get out my drawer because I've got to get it out my drawer. And you need some beads. Some wire and some beads. So I'm going to use this necklace that I had given to me. I'm wrecking, it, I'm wrecking the joint, yeah. <laughs> now what I'm going to do, did Colette use satin ribbon? Uh, the ribbon I used, where's it gone? Where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone? 
Ah, here is. I found it. My room looks a mess, by the way. Didn't I didn't mean to take that long. Um, yeah, it is. It's satin ribbon. You burnish the ends. So when you cut your strips, you burnish the ends. Now, it's. I wrote it down. So I'll show you. It's five ten point five, five thirteen, five sixteen, and one fifteen. Now, obviously, I it's taking me a lot longer because I'm doing it on live. If I was doing it in front of the TV, I'd be a lot quicker, I would imagine. Um, but it did take me a lot longer than predicted, um, and I do apologise for that. But it does turn out real nice and fluffy and you can use almost any type of fabric you want any type of ribbon you want i did want to use this fabric ribbon this white one then that would have come up even nicer but i didn't have enough of it so it's totally up to you the width of the ribbon though is Two centimeters which in turn is just under one inch that's the width the wider the ribbon the thicker the flower so bear that in mind now I have some wire here that's not going to get handled up with the rest of it deal with all that later right this um wire sorry this wire is a lot thicker than the thin one i've just put away this wire is 0.6 millimeter thick you need a bit of thickness in order to do the road but once you've done it once you won't you'll think oh that's how you do them show you right so it your, your, the wire is basically the stalk. Hi, Lisa. How are you, my lovely? Um, and I'm going to cut these because I'm going to use some of these beads. Now, I had these beads given to me. I'm going to mix up a few in there. Right. So, the flower, the actual flower itself... I'm going to move this needle as well because I'm going to end up losing it, know what I mean? And I will end up losing it. The actual flower itself, you'll need two circles. Two circles. Right, so I'm going to put two circles out. Right. So again... Uh, get your square and then round it, round it off. Because they're rosebuds. Could do three um, if you wanted to, and all I'm doing is using my candle to burnish the ends. And I'm going to turn you this way as well. Are you in the USA? Yeah, Laurel's in the USA. She's in oh, L oh, somebody said it the other day, and I went, Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Um, Oh gosh, how do you pronounce where you're from? It hot like the oh, wow. Hi, Lisa. Just gonna turn these. I'll burn my finger. It'll be a good start. Let me get a tweezers. Right, so I'll get two two little petals on the go. You need a bit of, I am going to use my cotton thread. I'm not going to give up on it just yet, although we'd like me to. Right, so I'm going to move 
move it that way. I get my needle. Right, what you do, you get your rosebud and now this is already curling in, which gives me a head start. So, curl it in till you get to about there. You may need three. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my needle through there and make a little bit of a, a knot on there. Now, my needle's knotted on there, so it's not going anywhere. Get your glue. I'm going to use um, high tack fast glue. And I'm going to just peel the edge off. Come on. Nothing's working out. I'm going to start singing from the Deaf Leopard here in a sec. Oh, why, Lisa? Scary candle in the craft room. Is it scaring you? Is it because I'm nearly burning my fingers? <laughs> Where's my um I have cut it, haven't I? Yeah, I have. It's because I'm leaning over. <sighs> so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the edge of my wire. And I'm gonna pop that just enough in. So you can't really see it anymore and then curl it over now you'll go through the fabric that but that's a good sign because when it goes through the fabric the wire is not going to come out anywhere and then it's hooked in there then and then you can begin to carry on sewing and your fabric your, your wire rather isn't going to go anywhere and I'm going to put the, the needle through like I say, because it gives me an easy access now to sew. Now that's looped over. The second, because my wire is long. The second one I'm going to just curl over like a rosebud would. Now my uh, thread is inside. So bring your needle on the edge, like so. And then you want to sew these two ends together of the second petal. So I'm going to bring it up and turn it. Yep, mine would go up in flames, mess of papers in that, oh bless. I only light the candle when I'm doing my flowers. I don't trust myself otherwise, Lisa. No, me with can me with flames, and I once got a um because I was trying to emboss and my embossing um he can whatever embossing tool broke, so I got the blow torch out. did the embossing nearly set my flat on fire though right so you can now go back now we will take three sometimes it does it in two sometimes it does it in three just singe the ends and as this is singeing it's just curling over now this is satin polyester fabric I'm using in case anybody is going to ask me that that's the type of fabric I'm using there. and then I'm going to just bring this over I'm going to pull it up and over. So again with the second one, we're only sewing these two edges. Now I've cut a lot of wire off. This is why I'm struggling. It doesn't matter. So just bring it up to where you want it to come up. And I'm going to just sew...
up and over. Oh gosh. I'm going to go over this way. And back through the end. Now, you should land up with something that looks very similar to what I'm doing. Two, three petals the most. You're only doing a rosebud after all. Um, you're not doing a, a rose, but you could do a rose doing it this way. Now, I've seen a rose started like this on Pinterest. And then it got me thinking, well, whether I could do a rose, um, a rose bed, sorry. And I have done smaller versions of these before. Just giving that a good knot on the end. Tie that off. Cut the wire to what I want it to cut there. So we don't need all of this. That's what our rose petal looks like. I'm going to put some beads on this. Some beads on the end of this to make them go in. Push them straight up. One. And you could do anything. You could make them smaller. You could do if you did them smaller. It's just basically small circles. Beautiful fl collect, gorgeous flower. Oh bless. Gonna have to watch from the beginning. Oh, thank Hi, Paula. I didn't see you come in, my love. Bye, Lisa. Thank you for stopping by. Gorgeous flowers. Thank you, Noel. Um, now, I like to put 10 on. Two, four, six. Uh, eight nine when i get to nine i'm gonna get my glossy accent out which is in here somewhere if only you could see my room you wouldn't say it's um, yeah, organized at all i'm gonna put some on the edge and then i'm gonna put one more on the end and that should hold all my flowers in place. I'm just going to put a smidgen if I can. Right. And then you would add you could add them to your packaging. You could you could continue the line and go all the way down if you cut more circles out and um i have made hmm, um have i made it into a i made a smaller rosebud but i've never done a rose but thinking about it you could do um a, do more circles singe your edges and then you would get a perfect rose you could add that to packaging you could you know you could make a bunch of them and when you're sending out your um racks or your gifts you could put a bunch together um so those are my three flowers um the square one i didn't show you how to do the square one but let me just see if i got a piece all one there is with a square one and just quickly show you on this bit of fabric which is this one you would get a good piece obviously this is a square fold it in half like so do two snippets but leave your edges open and then cut it this way until you get that right and i'll quickly show you this one because this one's a fun one to do um, and 
and I'm not going to layer it, I'm just going to show you how you would do a square flower because you could layer it, you could put doilies in there, you could do all sorts with these type of flowers. Right, just going to get it knotted in the corner. Now come away from the way you've sort of cut the middle out because Let me see if I can get a smaller needle because I've just cut the smaller thread out. There. Right, so I've knotted it in the middle. It's not going anywhere. It's your knots, right. And all you do, you gather your fabric up on your needle. Pull that. Gosh, come on. Pull this one. And you'll find that it's that it'll gather as you do it. And that's good because you want it to gather. That's how you do the flower. Right, you'll end up with something that looks like that. Take it through your your cotton through the back. Give it a good pull. I'm just going to tie this off. And then sort of tie it off the end. I can if my fingers will work. Oh, come on. One cut this off. Right. Then you'll end up something that looks like that. And what you do then you can make another one, which is this one. Do it exactly the same way. So cut your fabric out and put it behind. Do you all want me to show you what to do with square flower? Shall I shall I finish this off for you to see? Or have you seen a square flower done before? I just I don't want it seem like I'm taking all your time up. If you want me to finish it off, then I will. I'll cut another little piece and then I'll show you how I lay it and do the square flower on a pattern fabric. Um like you say, yeah, okay, right, let me give me some photos then, okay, for some fabric, let me push these to one side, right, I'm gonna do it on this fabric, I think. Okay, square piece. Let me get some cotton on my fabric on my needle because then it'll make it a lot easier for when I come to sew it. square piece like that fold it in half and what you do is I will add that little piece on that we've just done snip you need to leave a gap between the edge and where you snip so you'll end up with like a snip there and then you snip it this side okay so you've sort of got two snips where those two snips end is where you need to join them up so you effectually get a little square from a square, if that makes any sort of sense. So that's what you'll end up with. Let me see the comments. I've not seen this flower before. Oh, wow, Paul, have you not? Pink is my favourite colour. Me too, Donna, me too. I learned this one a long time ago. 
forget who I learned it from or where I saw it, but um, I think it was in a conversation and it inspired me to, because I, I use my nan's um, handkerchief. She used to keep them like for the best and never use them. And I wanted to use them on something special, so I made flowers out of them. Um, so that's what inspired me. So I've made a knot in the corner. And all I'm going to do now is gather this fabric on my needle. I've got a long needle, so I'm able to do this. But you can do it with a short one, like you've just seen, where I've gathered it up with a short needle. Pull it. Don't have to pull it tight at the moment because you can do that when um, you get closer to the end. And I'm just going to continue to thread this and pull. And I'm at the end. So at the end, grab your needle. Now this is the front way, that would be my back. So give it a good pull, you'll end up with something that looks like that. Taking the needle then through the back of your fabrics, you always want to keep your uh, thread and your needle at the back. Position it where you want it positioned. And I'm going to give this a good knot. I knew that was going to happen. Told you my hands are not working tonight, they just do not want to work for me. Come on. Right, and then I'm going to take my needle back on my thread because I'm going to put that little one on now. To make it interesting, I've got some of this doily that I had given to me during the week. Um, I think I want to use some of it. And I want to use this little bit. Use that bit and this flower here. So there's one. I'm gonna put that put that oh gosh, come on. There. Bring this over around a little bit. So I'm just going through the fabric and through this little doily that I cut out. Pink. I'm going to take this little bit. I may not see it. Never mind. I should have done it the other way around. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to take it through the fabric and back through this so I've actually got that okay and then I'm going to put this little one on top and why am I putting this little one on top it's probably something that when you're cutting out appliques it's not coming off I'm not going to let it come off. You tend to throw out. Because why would you keep... Um, why would you keep such a, a small thing when you've got all the pretty appliques? I'll show you why now. I'm going to knot it in the front. And then I'm going to get a flat back pearl bead. 
I don't know why I've gone all quiet. I think I wasn't concentrated. Not only twice to make sure that I've completely got it knotted. Cut this. Right, you'll end up with something that looks like that. If you use different fabric, you'll get a different effect. And um, that's not in that one. Get a little foot up. Not in that one. I'm going to put Diamante, I think. Where's it gone? There. Okay, I'm going to stick that down with my fabric tack glue. There. And that is another flower. So you can, you could layer it up. You could add doilies. Now on this one, I did the scraggly bit, I've done fabric, I then cut out a petal shape of my die and then I put a piece of scrap material underneath and that's why this one is so full but that is only a couple of layers. If I wanted to add more to it, if you want a bigger flower, you obviously cut bigger squares out and you cut the centre a lot bigger but that's a square, that's what I would call a square flower. Um, you still get the same effect, you still get the... Um, the gathered effect you still get a flower effect but it's done through the shape of a square rather than a circle so I hope you really enjoyed tonight's live I know it was something a little bit different and I thought shall I shan't I shall I shan't I and I'm glad I did in a sense because I would never have been able to show you these I don't think on a video um, I think it would be been too long a video and I would be there all night trying to uh, show you how I've made my flowers but with this one you add more petals so you would get a full flower this one you would cut bigger squares out you would get a bigger squared flower this one you would carry on just pinching the center and then bringing up your flowers and this one obviously I um cheated a little bit <laughs> I didn't do all the um petals i left six out i think but i would have done because you can get these very small in shops and um, carla says hello lady sorry i'm late to our oh bless carla thank you for coming in so it says beautiful flowers love them we'll be trying some thank you so i'm glad i've inspired you um like i said it was something a bit different. Next week, I will be back doing a project. Um, I'm going to be doing something with my sewing-themed kit. If you don't know what I'm going on about, I bought a kit during this week, and I had it delivered, and it is of Gracie's Palette. So I'm going to be doing something with that next week. While I'm on, I had this given to me. Oh, gosh. There you are. I had this through the door. Before you all go, I had this. And it says, Hi Claire, enjoy your gift from Elizabeth J. McKinney. Liz. First of all, thank you very much, whoever you are. Secondly, I don't recognise the name. I don't know why I don't recognise the name. I don't recognise the name. So, if there is you that's given me this gift, thoughtful uh, uh, and... I know whoever's given me this is thoughtful. You've obviously seen me do my picture where I've tran been transferring pictures from paper to fabric and I've been struggling using a roller. So um, whoever you are, thank you so much for the kind thought and sending it to me straight from the shop my I had. But I don't recognise the name. And I've been jogging my head. I just can't recognise the name. So... If you ladies recognise the name, please let me know who it is. Because I feel so bad I don't enjoy it. It's you, Liz. It's you. See? Wow. 
Wow, it's you. <laughs> I've been here all week trying to help you. Shall I admit that I don't recognise the name, shall I? Because you all know I'm crap when it comes to names. I don't remember the names and I can't pronounce them. Um, you, you were so thoughtful sending me that. I cannot believe it was you. <laughs> thank you so much, Liz. Honestly, now. I honestly thank you so, 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 so much. Yes, I thought it was Paula. It would either be, well, my one that went through my mind was it would either be the live I did on YouTube, the live I did in your group, or the live I did in mine. So I sort of narrowed it down that way. But thank you so much, Liz. I've been, ask anybody in my group, I have been scratching my head thinking who it was. Um, and I didn't recognise the name, but now I do. So thank you so, so, so very much. Um, it's such a thoughtful gift. You've obviously been watching me and obviously been watching that I've been struggling with my little roller and it came straight from the shop straight to me and I did not want to finish this live tonight without uh, mentioning my thoughtful little gift that I had through the, sh the door this week. So thank you so much, Liz. Honestly, now, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome. I enjoyed watching you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to tear up. Thank you so much. You didn't have a prayer. No, I didn't, Paula. You're right. I didn't. That's such a thoughtful gift. I'm so blessed to have um, A, friends like you, and B, the support and love of you all. So thank you so much. You can make me cry. I really, I, I, it's been on my table and I said it in my group and I said it to, I said to Paula, I sent a message to my Paula through the week and I said, do you recognise this name? Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to cry in a sec, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot, not because of what it is, but because of the fact you thought of me and sent it me. So thank you so very much. <laughs> so. I will love and leave you. You're going to make me cry. I'm such a sap to see, and <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, it is a sweet thing to do, Laurel. I couldn't agree more. Oops, sent twice. Don't think my first one went through. Oh, don't worry. I will um, love and leave you all. Let me know if you have a go of these flowers. And I am, I am going to... If I could hug you right now, I would... <laughs> So thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I cannot wait to use it because I didn't want to use it until I knew who sent it me. Um, but I wanted to say how grateful and thank you uh, I was before I started using this. So thank you so much. I'm going to live and leave you all. Um, like I say, these flowers, they do, if you're sat in front of the TV, you will find that they're quite easy to, to make. Um, so that one does take a little longer, but you do get a nice effect from it. I'm going to love and leave you all. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I hope you had a really good night with me making flowers. Next week, I'm going to be back making a project. I'm going to be doing, uh, like I said, a sewing themed vintage project next week using the kit I had and my new roller. Um, so thank you so much, Liz. And I will love and leave you all to next week. Next, I'm back on Friday next week, not Saturday. Next Friday at 9pm UK time. I don't know what that is in your time. Um, I can't remember, to be fair. Um, but if you send me a message, I'll try and work it out. Oh, I'll ask Laurel. She's quite good on Paula. Working it out for the times for me. And I will love and leave you all till then. No starve, which means good night in Welsh. Love to you all. Thank you so much, Liz, again. And I um, will love and leave you all till then. Bye for now. Now start, ladies. Bye.